Okay, guys. I've kind of come to my wit's end with all this electronics here. I have everything working except for one thing, and I cannot figure it out. So the setup that we have here, underneath here, is an Adafruit um, Metro 328, basically a, a, a Arduino Uno clone. And on top we have their music module slash breakout board with the SD card reader. This is the amplified version. Um, so this adds a couple of other pinouts and then also adds a uh, sound to our trap. So my problem is with the servo. So why don't we just turn this on real quick. Alright, so now what should happen is when I trigger this, I have the sound and everything disabled so we can talk over it, is the LED light should, should um, go on and both of these servos should move to open the trap left and right door. So when I trigger it, there's open. And there's close. So you can see only one is moving. So let's trigger it again. So there's trap open, and there's trap close. You can see that the right door, hooked up to pin 3, is the only one that is moving. Now, I am not a coder, so... Okay, so this here is our code, which you can also find down in the description. So, here are all the libraries, right up here, in this section here, and I have all those in the correct places on my computer. Here we're creating both servos, servo right and servo L, right and left servo. And here are the parameters for the distance of opening and closing those servos. Um, there are, you can see that they're opposing, they're opposite numbers because the servos are actually going to be opposing each other, so they're going to have to rotate in opposite directions. Now all this stuff here is just saying what's on what pin. To the best of my knowledge, this here is the breakout board for the music soundboard, kind of getting all the parameters in there. And from what I gather, right here, this section starting here, is like a self-check of the board. So you turn the power on, and it's going to flash some LEDs make sure that they work. And it's going to check for the SD card, make sure the SD card's there, and it's also going to make a tone. So if you look, the first thing it does on that self-check here, sorry, is you can see the right-hand servo is attached to 3, and the left-hand servo is attached to pin 5, and then the right servo closes, okay? Now watch this, though. When I turn this on, all right, there's a self-check. In the right servo, I can move. The left servo is energized and locked. I cannot move that. And that's on pin number 5. So according to that code, that shouldn't happen. Now if you scroll down a little bit more here, Here's the open trap, so when we open the trap, we attach servo R to pin 3, servo L to pin 5, and then they open. And then later on, when the closed door is triggered, we attach the servo again to pin 3, attach the servo again to pin 5, and then we close the door, we write our delay, and then we close the other door. And then that's it. And then this is reset. Now a little further down here, there are some servo tests. I don't know how to actually trigger that. I, I've, I don't know what that is there. So I have no idea about that. Now watch this. Here's something very interesting. So now we can eliminate the board here by just switching the pins in the setup here. So if we just switch the pins in our setup, 5 and 3, five and 3, 
And then again, I missed one, I think. Five and three. But it's a closed door, closed trap. There we go. Five and three. A little typo there. Now we can see if pin number five works. So let me flash this. I'm going to turn it on. So remember in our last test we could not get this one to trigger and this one was working fine. They're still on the same pin, so on pin number five and pin number three. So now we're just going to run our program by triggering our trap. And now watch what happens. So now pin number five is triggering fine, but pin number three is not. And if we do the same thing like we did before, kind of put this out of alignment, it only works on the door close command. So it's almost as if something, whenever anything is set to this bottom part here of these of the servo commands, it doesn't work, which makes me believe it's something to do in this software rather than the hardware. But I'm sure some of you guys know a lot more than I do. So if you can help me out with this, I'd really appreciate it. I mean, if I do have to buy another one of those uh, music boards, I will. But it just it's just weird that whatever is in this command line doesn't work. Or doesn't work the way it's supposed to. I just don't understand it. So any help would be greatly appreciated, guys. Thank you.